Now, first game is a little unusual. Uh, the player with black is the one who submitted the game. The only name I could get from him was Z. So his name is Z, the letter Z. Um, and he lost. And he says he played the game on Lee Chess. And he said, like, um, like why did I lose? And so forth. Uh, typically, people don't submit games they lose. But obviously, that's fine. So, okay, he had black. So we'll look at it from black's point of view, I guess. Anyway, uh, his name is Z. I don't know who his opponent is. I don't know the ratings of the players. And so forth. Okay, so Z is black. That's all we know. Okay, that's the O'Kelly variation. Name af named after the Belgian grandmaster Albert O'Kelly. He was one of the best players in Belgium in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Um, that's, I've played A6 before. C3 is considered quite good. It's one of the two or three best moves for white. Okay, knight f6 is not a move that I know. Uh, I think black usually plays either e6 or d5 here. But okay, it's not like it's a terrible move. It's okay. So what white wants to do after a6 when he plays c3 is he's trying to play a c3 Sicilian where black's played a6, which isn't very helpful in the c3 Sicilian, and so forth. Okay, so that's all, this is all good. But the engine wants to play D C4 right away, and then D5. Typically you play C4 here, and then after Bishop C2, you know, if, if white moves like D4, D3, we take it. And then white usually plays B3, I think. But okay, he played G6, D4. See, that's the problem with, with playing c4 after uh, d4 is you can't take on Passant, so white has this nice center. If, if black could, he would take this if he was legal. So white has a nice advantage here because black's knight isn't very good here and pieces aren't very good. White has a nice center and connect four. So that's pretty good. And so on. Okay, castles. Knight BD2 is good. Now black played F5. Very weakening of the white squares. Engine doesn't like it very much. Okay, A4. And now A5 is annoying. Because then after knight D5, the C pawn's hanging. So black played A5, which is reasonable. So it's funny, in this position, the engine suggests knight takes c4, knight takes c4, bishop b3. Because if you play b5, I can take it. And if you play d5, I can take on passant, and I'm going to win your knight. So then white would win a pawn doing that by taking the c-pawn. That's interesting. Interesting tactic. Okay, white played b3, also good. d5, legal. B, C, D, C. Yeah, and it's hard for black to hold on to this pawn. Also, black hasn't developed its pieces really yet. Okay, bishop E6 is good. Now here, white can play knight to G5, attacking the bishop. The bishop will go to D5. And then... Later, white would play knight h3, knight f4, attacking the bishop. But instead, white played bishop a3, which is fine. Knight d5, which sacrifices this pawn. So white took it. I'm assuming black just didn't see queen takes pawn. would be my guess. Uh, if we move the knight away with discovered attack, we have to watch out for queen takes bishop check. 
So you can't play like knight e3 or anything like that. Okay, he played knight f4. That's a discovered attack. Queen b5. Black played the unusual move, rook a6. Seems like Black's just trying to attack the queen without any regard for anything else. Okay, g3 attacking the knight. Black, quote unquote, sacrificed another pawn. Queen takes pawn. Knight c6. Queen c5. So now white's up two pawns. Now black sacrificed a piece. Um, okay. I guess there's some tricks here. So you can take either way, and you can take with the knight or the pawn, and you're winning. Took with the pawn, which is fine. Rook c6. Played queen b5. I probably would have played queen takes e7, but the engine says they're about the same. I guess this attacks the knight, so then queen b5 makes a lot of sense. Rook takes, queen takes. So black's just down a piece here. Gets back an exchange. Yeah, the queen d1's a good move attacking the rook. Check. King takes. So white has two pieces for a rook. Now white's threatening knight to e6. Black wants to play queen h1 check. And white allows it. It's funny, after queen h1, just king e2, and white's still winning. I'm assuming white didn't see queen h1 check. And it takes the queen. I guess if you take on h2, there's queen b3 check, which is too annoying. Yeah, and here white's just completely winning. Bishop a3 just hangs the bishop. So that's a strange move. Knight g3 stopping the h pawn. That's important. Queen d5. Wow. All right. That game was pretty bad, but most of the games I look at are pretty bad. But this is probably pretty far up there and bad. Yeah, there was a lot of blundering of material that game. Um, and the strategic play was also quite bad. I would say their Lee Chess ratings are 3,000. Minkle Momin gifted a sub. Thank you. And then Sorry9 gave 99 bits. Thank you. Let's see. Anybody else do anything? No. Okay, so that was from Z. He had black. That wasn't uh, the best game. Black gave some material away that game several times, usually on purpose. So that's not good. If, if you're going to lose material, which you are, then you should try to make it by accident, not not purposely give material away. Because then when you, when you purposely give material away and you accidentally give material away, that, that's a lot of material. So then you're down a lot of material, as you can see from this position. White's mating technique was um, unusual. So forth. Anyway, good game. Well, well done. Thanks for sending me your game. That was good.